So today we're gonna do a nice, easy stretch workout for neck and back pain. I promise you, if you stick with this workout a couple times a week, you are going to feel a reduction in the pain that you have in those areas. Come join me. Okay guys, so let's get started on our hands and knees for our first little section here. You're gonna take your knees a little bit farther than shoulder width apart and your hands a little bit farther as well. You're just gonna do a nice big inhale up, cat stretch. And exhale down. Let's just do one more. Pulling those abs in towards your back and then release. Now you're gonna take those knees out even further and you're gonna come down into a wide leg child's pose, pushing your hands forward, as far forward as you can here. And if you can, you can rest your head on the mat. Now, if this move is just too much for you because you have tight hip flexors, you can bring those knees in a little bit closer and just do a regular child's pose. Okay, let's come on out of that. And now in this position, you're gonna take one hand and you're gonna thread it through the other arm with your palm facing the, the floor here. And you're just gonna push it as far forward as you can so that your head, the side of your head is resting on the mat. Now you're just gonna try to open up the outside arm as far as you can. So you're gonna feel a lengthening in your upper back. If you're not quite able to go that far, you can come halfway, but make sure that you press your palm against the floor so that you feel that stretch in your upper back. Hold your abs in. This one should feel good, not painful. Okay, let's switch sides. Same thing, calm down, open up your upper arm. Great. And then you're gonna come out of it. Okay guys, now we're gonna go into a bow pose. So you're going to come onto your knees. If you have problems with your knees, you can roll the mat up. Okay, you're gonna come on up, take your feet or your knees out wide, and you're gonna try to grab your heels here and then bend it back. Relax your head and neck. and then slowly come out of it. <laughs> Very good, you might notice a little lightheadedness and that's totally normal. Okay, so now we're gonna do our next little series seated. Now this one, I'm going to bend one leg behind me and one leg in front of me. Now it doesn't matter how far apart your legs are for this, just get them in the right position here, okay? And you're just gonna lean forward and twist. Okay, so my outside arm is just across or in front of my front leg twist. Now, if you wanna make this easier, you can come down onto your elbows. But I like to come up because I can get a deeper range of motion here. And now this one is a little challenging, so we're not gonna stay in it too long. So again, bring your outside arm across your opposite knee and push. You should feel a lengthening in your glutes here too, especially if you did like a squat or leg workout yesterday or the day before. Yeah, this one's good for that. Okay, okay. Cross those legs in front. Bring those hands out to the side, point those fingers as far out as you can here, and you're just gonna drop your ear to your shoulder. Now be very careful not to lift your shoulder up to meet your ear because it's only gonna cause a lot more strain in the neck, which we don't want. So slowly drop your ear to your shoulder. 
and just let it rest here until you start to feel the lengthening in the muscle and until it starts to feel a little more comfortable. Take a nice inhale and exhale. And as you do your next inhale, you're gonna roll your head very, very slowly down towards your chest. Stay here. Inhale and exhale. In through your nose and out through your mouth. On your next inhale, you're gonna roll to the other side so that your opposite ear meets your opposite shoulder and just rest here. You might notice that one side is tighter than the other. That's totally normal. Mm, feels so good. Can we just stay here? Okay, now very slowly come back up out of it. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one hand on top of the other, very flat, or you can make it into a fist, whatever feels good for you, and you're just going to press those palms, the top of those palms, up, so that your chin pushes up towards the ceiling. Keep going. Now I wanna to explain to you, this one is awesome if you sit at a computer all day and your head is looking down. People tend to develop that forward head syndrome, which is so bad for your spine because it puts so much more weight on your spine and causes pain. So do this one often. Awesome, slowly bring it down. Now you're gonna clasp your hands behind you and straighten those arms as tight as you can, squeezing those triceps. Open up the chest and pull those arms as far up behind you as you can. Drop your chin to your chest. We really need to open up the chest here because when we have neck and back pain, often it's a result of bad posture. So this will help realign our spine and get us back in a good posture, which we love. Excellent. Okay, now in that same position, you're gonna keep those fingers clasped and you're gonna bring them to one side of your hip here. And you're gonna do the same thing that you did before, bringing your ear to your shoulder. We're not gonna stay here very long because we're gonna transition down towards the chest. And now, you're going to bring your opposite ear to your opposite shoulder. You're gonna feel an even deeper lengthening here in the neck. It's great to do after the initial neck stretch because our neck is already lengthened. Sometimes this move can cause some pain if we do it too quickly. Again, make sure that elbows push down, the shoulders push down and relax. Bring your head to center, round it up. Let's switch sides. Okay, bring your ear to your shoulder. Stay here for a second, and then you're gonna drop that chin towards your chest. And bring your opposite ear to opposite shoulder. Smile. You're gonna feel so much better when you're done. These are moves that I do often, along with the foam roller, to realign my spine and my neck, and I just feel night and day different when I do them. So hopefully they work for you guys too. Let me know in the comments below. Bring your chin down and round it up. Now unlace those fingers. You're gonna bring those arms up overhead and you're just gonna push your palms back towards you, opening up your chest. This one's a little bit of a strength move here. Inhale and exhale one more time. And bring those arms down. Now we're gonna go on to our back. Okay, let's lie on our back. Okay, 
This one is my favorite part. Hopefully for you guys too. Okay, so you're gonna bring one knee into your chest and the other knee as well. And you're just gonna keep them right in line with your chest for just a second here. Now you're gonna push the knees apart, so as far apart as you can go. Again, if you have tight hip flexors, you might not be able to go that far. So just stick with it and in time you will. You can kind of roll around on your mat, massage your low back. Bring those knees back together, place them on the ground. Now you're gonna come up into a bridge, a really high bridge here, so squeeze your butt to get up into position. Clasp your fingers and just hold. You're gonna feel a tightening in your low back, but this is wonderful for strengthening the low back muscles so that in time you have less pain. So we need to strengthen them and lengthen them. We need both. Excellent, bring that down. Now you're gonna cross one leg over the other and you do a figure four stretch. You're gonna pull that knee towards you. And while you're in this position, now you're gonna slowly cross your legs like you're sitting, crossing your legs, and then pull even deeper. As deep as you can go here. Okay, while you're in this position, you're gonna straighten that bottom leg. You're gonna take your knee across the body. Ah, yes, the best one. You might feel some popping here. Try to keep both your arms on the ground. Now we kind of did a version of this earlier, but it was more for our upper back. This is more for your lower back. As soon as you feel ready, let's come on out of that. I'm gonna do that figure four stretch on the other side. <sighs> now with stretching, there's no limit. You can do this 10 times a day if you want. You can do this 20 times a day. So don't just think you have to restrict it to after your workout. Do this often and you're going to feel a difference and even see a difference across those legs in the way your body looks over time because everything's in alignment. You're able to do exercises a lot more successfully with proper form. And as we know, if you have proper form, you can quickly reshape those muscles. So it's all connected. Everything's connected here. It's not a waste of time. I used to think it was a waste of time when I was really, really like, or 100%, you know, like crazy into training and I was messed up. I was not thinking correctly. Caused a lot of pain and injury because of that. There's a reason that you feel so incredible after you stretch because it's good for you. Okay. Slowly come out of that, lengthen those legs down, bring those arms up overhead. One big nice inhale and exhale. Do it one more time. Thank you so much guys for following.